Olight Seeker 4 Pro. Let's talk about it. You guys know that I like stepping outside of the box. Now, I like using gear in real world conditions. Now, obviously, I'm not out in the woods where I normally film, but we're not doing a tabletop. We're going to do just a quick, no BS review of the Olight Seeker 4 Pro. This is a new flashlight from Olight. It's a improved version of the Seeker 3, which has been really popular in the community. And today we're gonna deep dive into it. But first, we're gonna cut away. I'll do a quick specs rundown, show you this light up close, and then we'll get out here in the yard for some real world applications. Folks, flashlights, you're here with me. The video starts now. Let's talk about this light for a second. This light has five settings. You have moonlight, you have low, you have medium, you have high, you have turbo. And then you have that mystery one, which is strobe. So actually six modes. So this is moonlight mode, and this is five lumens. And you get about 15 days of burn time and nine meters of throw. That's good enough for in camp, you're cooking, you're doing land nav, you're reading a book, good usable light, you're on a weekend outing, and you're just trying to save battery life, there's good usable light here. And the camera really doesn't do it justice, but once your eyes get adjusted to the dark, it's usable light out to nine, 10 meters, no problem at all. Now, if I hold that center swivel button, the next step would be low, and as you can see, let me get it to focus on my fence back there. That is 50 lumens of light. We have 25 meters to throw, and you get about 60 hours of burn time. Now, next step is medium, and that is 300 lumens. Let me get it to focus here real quick. There we go. And that is 11 hour burn time, 65 meters of throw. We're just starting to illuminate the trees in the neighbor's yard back there. The next step is high, and that is 1200 lumens, 135 minutes of burn time, and 130 meters of throw. So not bad with that. Next, if I press the center button twice, I have turbo, that's 4,600 lumens, and we get two and a half minutes of burn time with that. Obviously, it's gonna get hot really quick, so you're gonna to wanna to use it sparingly, and you have 260 meters of throw, and as you can see, it's like stadium lighting. And then if I press it three times, I have strobe light. So you have a lot of usable light here. So on the settings, let me do it all the way up. You can adjust this from high. This is on the high setting, which is 1200 lumens. And then by turning the dial, you can micro adjust this light all the way down. Not bad. So you have a couple different modes. You can press the switch or you can turn the dial which makes it really nice. Now for some final thoughts on the Olight Seeker 4 Pro. First off, I really like the ergonomics of this light. I like the fact that all the controls are in one central area and you don't have to worry about putting your thumb on the back of the flashlight and such. You can hold it in a very ergonomic position. That's really cool. I also like the fact that they have an indicator that shows you the battery life and also shows you the power setting on the flashlight. And it's not something that you have to fiddle around with. It's just a, an immediate index. You know right where you're at. And I think that's valuable that if you're out in the field 
whether you're doing search and rescue or you're hiking or you're fill in the blank, law enforcement, fire department, whatever, I think it's really important to know on the fly what the power setting is. I think that the dimensions of the light are perfect for this style of light and 4,600 lumens. Oh my God, never in my wildest dreams. I've been doing flashlight reviews and gear reviews for a lot of years. And when I first started out doing these reviews, we were like amazed at 300 lumens and such. And now it's just warp speed ahead. It is just amazing. I also like the fact that the light and the sheath are integrated together as a charging unit. That works really good. I'm in my car, I'm traveling, I have a power bank. Even if I'm home, I have a wall mount that comes with this light. I can take off the um, holster, put it in that wall mount because you're just like me. I know you are. You put stuff in a drawer and guess what? You don't find it. So everything has a place. You hang it on the wall. You know right where it's at. You can plug your USB into it. It's always charged. You're ready to go for heaven forbid those moments when you're going to need it. I think the size, the weight, and the capabilities of this light I think it's a hit. I like it. If you want to learn more about this light, I'll leave links in a video description below. I'll also leave links if you're looking to purchase this light. Now, I just want you to know, I make no money off this stuff. I like sharing information with you folks, and I like showing gear that is a great value, that's going to function, and stuff's going to work when you need it to work, when your life may depend on it. So with that being said, I want to thank you folks so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next video. And as always, folks, get out and use your gear.